Hey guys, Marty Boots here. Today I want to talk to you about rain and I want to show you why I think rain is potentially in a bull market. So it is our job as traders and investors to find the next big thing. And you know, one of the big things in the market at the moment and, and has been over the past few months is link chain or chain link uh, link. So, you know, our job is to find the next link. And I think I potentially have found it here in rain. I just want to show you here. Um, you know, you, you can see the uptrend here in chain link first before uh, I get into rain. So you can see here down down from the the from the breakout point really down here when it broke out um you know that that's a a 600 percent gainer it's going to be very hard to catch the exact lows for example i mean that's 1400 percent you know monsters move um so yeah so even the 600 percent gain guys um you know it's beautiful and it's potentially life-changing depending on how much money you put on it you know it, it could build, grow your account, so it enables you to trade with bigger money in the future. It, it it could help you buy a deposit for a house. It could be it could buy you a house. It could buy you two houses. You know, everybody's different and everybody's in a different situation. But finding a runner or a mover like this is potentially life changing. So, with that said, I want to I'm going to get into Ren here. Um, this is Link. Now, what I want to show you first off. Look at look at this. Look at this. This is a weekly chart of Chainlink first, and look first off. I want to just show you this. The VPVR guys, what it's showing here is there is no volume resistance up here. So so there was a lot of action down here, of course, but up here in these higher higher spectrum of uh, of the chart, there there is. It's getting a bit messy there. There is nothing. No resistance up here, even though the price did trade up here. You know, essentially up there. The, 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 look at that VPVR. That that is important note to note to start with. Now, if you would have seen Chainlink down here, did you did you know it was gonna do this and go to the moon? Now there are clues. There are some clues that we'll look at here. Um, obviously the volume and the, oh look at all the screen volume and stuff and there was no volume on the sell-off the volume on the sell-off was pretty pretty poor so it, it it looks like there was accumulation here um you know and, and there wasn't big there's was big buyers but not not that big of sellers on the way back down that is important to note it's also important to note that of the vpvr just what i showed you there was no resistance here so it's 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 giving you a clue that if price tries to break back up in this area um you know there's not that much volume resistance so the other thing to note is look at price price broke out above the weekly moving averages um that is the the yellow nine the green 20 the light blue is the 40 and the dark blue is the 50 ema exponential moving averages so price broke out above these and that enabled price to uh, go into an uptrend and enable the you know the, the moving averages to support price as, as price moved higher as the buyers kept stepping in and continued to push this into a bull market uh, well you know it is a bull market you can see here the white 100 moving average is below price because it's below all these moving averages so that that is a quick rundown on on certain things to look out for now, if I take you to Ren here, Ren on a daily chart, just very quickly to note, um, we are on the daily chart. We are getting above the moving averages, the 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 200 moving average here. So we are in a bit of a choppy uh, consolidation sort of period here on the daily chart. Um, you can see it's something similar to back here, you know, and it, it started getting above these moving averages. Um, above the 200 and different things but in a choppy range but then it allowed price to continue to the upside note the vpvr here guys note this vpvr there is no there's no resistance up here you know above this line here yes price was up here quite a lot 
but there there is there's no volume resistance here on it which is, which is very important to note as you as i pointed out back here in uh oh where, wherever it was back there i'm not going to go back so um what i want to show you here i'll get to that in one minute what is this um i want to just take you quickly here to a three-day chart you, you can see here on a three-day chart guys um we are starting to break above all these moving averages on a three-day chart and, and that is important to note here's a here's a clearer picture of the vpvr here there's not much resistance up here price just flooded and, and, and smashed lower um the the thing to note uh there was there was quite a bit of selling here that, that is something to note let me just jump ahead here and what i want to show you um where do we start where do we start you can see here that i have uh i've compared it to roku and in the stock market this is in the stock market so you can see here price broke down and price is now trying to get back above all moving averages here on a weekly chart on a weekly chart you can even see here the 100 moving average is underneath price what happened back here when price broke out above the 100 moving average above all moving averages price held this and it enabled price to move into an uptrend this moved into a fierce uptrend and you know we pulled back into these moving averages and continued higher into a bull market another important thing to note is as price broke out here it's above the 50 it's breaking out above the 50 line what happened back here price as price broke out exactly right here as it broke out above the uh i hope you all can see that just zoom in um is as price broke out above all moving averages here you can see it right there price was just getting above the 50 and it continued higher and price above the 50 line guys is um it's in bullish territory it's in bullish territory and you can see what happened you know these these dips back into the 50 were buying opportunities you can see that and, and here again buying opportunity for an or spike higher on a weekly basis so this is trying to attempt to catch it's not the start guys i mean you don't know down here is this going to be uh is it going to roll over is it going to form a bear flag it's very hard to tell so um that is a comparison here and and in in a bull market um let me just show you sorry these uh where is this little two uh one elliot, elliot wave okay guys you can see here and why do i why have i drawn a three a three x structure it's three times this structure to the highs look one two and three and it almost took us exactly almost perfectly flawlessly to the highs now what what um you know you, you can do the, the pullback here was obviously very uh not not very deep at all and then you know you've got a you've got a five wave structure in the uptrend um so something similar is very possible here now will the, will the first structure come up to the to the highs or not time will tell but at the moment this looks to be still moving higher um if for example uh if for example if we get a three wave structure a uh a, a 3x structure of this very similar to roku and 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 you know we get an l wave stru structure on an uptrend this is very possible we we can move higher 338 percent from from these lows for from from this level um we may even get a, a a bit of a dip into next week and i hope we do because i'm going to be looking to buy this um because at the moment it's, it's looking pretty good it is looking pretty good uh where, where am i going with this now uh little, little, little. Now let me go back here. I just want to jump quickly into the monthly chart of what I want to show you here on the monthly basis, monthly chart, monthly chart here, guys. Uh, you can see price was supported by the VPVR area. Um, you know it formed. Uh, this is the high volume node 
right down in here and price came down supported that and price came back up obviously there was support in here already um you know now prices above the monthly 9 ema which is bullish that is bullish and, and potentially for an uptrend you can see here uh this is a bullish engulfing you can see here after a big bullish candle last time it did continue higher um very quickly uh you know on the three month chart we're getting a pretty bullish candle here again six month chart we're getting this large doji and you know th there's no reason why this price has not come back and tested the open and now will continue higher again that's very very possible guys and i'll go to a 12 month chart just to show you this there's nothing wrong with this 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 candle is uh can potentially be a bullish candle a lot of people would look at that and say it's a bearish candle this can be a bullish candle in an uptrend okay last thing here guys uh 10 minutes into it this is a weekly chart i want you to look at uh roku here on a weekly chart price broke out above all moving averages on a weekly chart now remember it is all moving averages on a weekly chart because the other the 200 and the 100 have not formed yet you can see here uh the 100 moving average only forms way down the line so in theory um you know the 100 moving average should form like a way on down the line down, down here but if you, if you actually draw that tra trajectory uh you know that's 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 a very rough rough move um you can see price probably dipped down below that and got back above and away it went and this is something something that i'm thinking is is very similar right here you know the 100 moving average is probably down there you don't see where it is yet um because it's not formed on the chart but the, the 100 moving average is below all these moving averages of course because if the if the 40 is here the the light blue is a 40. so the so the 100 has to be, be below it um in it's trending higher the 100 has to be down here below it so it's essentially telling us that secretly it's a bull market it's se secretly it's potentially a bull market at least it's above all these moving averages and now it's breaking above these as well it's saying it's above all moving averages on a weekly basis this is bullish look at the the vpvr the, 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 there, there's no resistance up here this price can easily start trending higher it can hold these moving averages uh right here you can see these moving averages are going to turn around and start rolling up just like this these moving averages just rolled up higher just like this and price on a weekly basis uh continued higher you know price here could do the exact same thing and these moving averages will hold price and move higher so maybe a little bit rough there on the drawings but i just want to get you to maybe understand the situation um and the, and the potential potential bull market here on rain i would not sleep on it if next week if we drip, dip right back down like let me just show you here last thing here guys and then i'll finish this video up you can see here when price broke out above all moving averages what happened price actually dipped back down and retested the moving averages so next week we might potentially have a dip back down into moving averages and this is potentially your last time you make it a chance in buying this before rain starts actually moving into a into a, into a real bull market um you know it, it is possible guys you have to trade with correct risk management um you know find your trade find your entry you know and and, and use your stops maybe you know it, it i could be wrong but this has all the signs of a coin that wants to go into a bull market and it's got a lot of hype recently in, in the market so i would not sleep on it i definitely would not sleep on it uh volume is also picking up again here you know you, you can see there the volume is picking up nicely um it would be nice next week to get a to get a, a big volume week uh to sort of solidify that um bit of a bull market the volume is increasing here you can see the volume increasing so that, that would be interesting to see so that's it guys i'm going to leave you with that and uh that is my thoughts on rain that we are potentially uh, already in a bull market one thing i did not point out is uh very quickly i'll just take you back um no that's a bad example but then okay 
what I want to show you here is look at the uptrend. Look at the uptrend. We formed a, a higher low. If I just take you back here quickly, um, if I show you this, what happened back here at the very start of uh, Chainlink, it formed that higher low and then price got above all moving averages. What is happening here? We formed that higher low and now price is getting above all um, all them moving averages. Lots of volume here in this. People are people are taking note of Ren. Look at this. A lot of a lot of all kinds of volume has drifted off to nothing. Ren's volume is increasing. I want to show you that one more time. Look at this. Uh, higher low, above all moving averages, bull market. Higher low, formed a higher low, above all moving averages. Potential bull market, guys. Don't sleep on it. That's it for the video. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you enjoy, enjoyed the content, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to join us in our trading room, we're in there every single day trying to find and make money on life-changing opportunities like this. Um, so if you'd like to join us in there, hit us up in the description below and go to the website and sign up for the three-day free trial. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.